Welcome back to another episode of Shade TV. My name is Marissa Hill, and today we're going to be talking about a collaboration done with Union LA and Nike on the Dunk Low, and these are the Core Purple colorway. Let's take a quick sneak peek. Welcome back everyone to another unboxing and review. If you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe right now. Give this video a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave those down below. Hit that notification box. We do have a ton of heat coming out that I don't want you to miss out on. Also be sure to check out that join button for our amazing membership perks as well as our merch store. Today we are going to be talking about the third colorway that I will have done at this point in time. So be sure to go and check back in on my Argon colorway as well as the pistachio colorway on this exact collab if you haven't seen those videos already but this is finally the completionist in me finishing the collection this is the court purple colorway that we'll be talking about today we'll start off with the overview of these then talk about size and fit then we'll jump into styling to see how well this purple colorway mixed in with my wardrobe followed by uh, how much these are actually doing on the retail market so let's jump right into it if you are looking to get more history on these be sure to go back and check out that argon video I go more in depth on Sydney Portier, which is actually a big inspiration as far as this sneaker goes. But uh, let's get into the details. So we do have this really cool kind of transparent material going on the front here, which can actually be taken off and underneath it reveals a purple color scheme. So we do have purple as kind of that base coat for this specific colorway this time around. And on the front of the toe box, we do have that nice stitching and the pop of yellow yellow, which I think really pops off the white on the front of the toe box region. As we do work our way up to the tongue, we've got white laces on top of just a simple white tongue. And then we've got pops of that court purple with the Nike swoosh and that pop of yellow color scheme. We do have additional laces in purple if you're not feeling like the white, which I think I may actually swap them out. I like the purple laces. All right, so let's take a look at those details and then we'll move along to the side panels. All right, so moving along to the side panels, we've got nice Nike swooshes. Again, we've got some of that distressed threading of yellow kind of coming off the tip of this, but it is in that nice yellow print on top of that uh, white color scheme. And then as we work our way to the back, we have Nike on the back here, which really pops quite nicely in that yellow hue. We've got Sydney Poitier on the side here with the emblem which is very famous. And uh, we may show a clip of that film just so you can remember what this is symbolizing. And then we have Union LA here on that nice little tag. On the insole, we do have, again, that Sydney Poitier uh, emblem in yellow on top of a purple insole and then Nike with a swish mark on this side. We have a white midsole and a translucent purple outsole to finish off the sneaker. And we also got this really cool hang tag. For those of you who don't know what really inspired this sneaker, in this collaboration it is all about travel and so this is really cool this is a baggage uh tag which just reminds me actually of my old baggage tags uh, but it's really quirky really unique and again the way that they've actually designed the box is to look like an actual ticket which back in the day you actually used to get these manual tickets and this is what you would actually show the attendants when you were going out and flying so i do love that they've kind of added that design onto this box it really just makes this even more unique.
do want to give a huge shout out to Atmos. I was able to win these via answering a couple questions. One was specifically about the sneaker I would actually want to take with me and travel with if I could only choose one. Uh, so I actually was able to pick these up at Atmos and I did that in the pouring rain. I have to actually compliment Atmos. I don't even know if I have it around here, but they have the most incredible bags, including actually a zipper on top with plastic, which I have not seen a bag like that. So kudos to them for thinking about us diehard sneaker fans because we don't want our box or our sneakers to ever get wet. All right, so now let's talk about size and fit on these. So these run true to size. I'm a seven and a half, which is equivalent to a woman's size nine. I do have higher Chanel feet. So depending on whether or not you have flat or wider feet, that could differentiate a size that works best for you, but definitely stick true to size on this one. All right, so now let's talk about styling. Again, really nice hints and hues of purple and yellow. So I really wanted to kind of coordinate that within my looks. For the first look, I decided to wear a knitted skirt with a matching knitted top, and I layered that with a tie-dye button-down tee. And I think the purples just really played and accented this quite nicely. Yeah. Second look, I decided to wear just some nice yellow color scheme or a nice yellow color scheme just because of the yellow threading and yellow accents of this. So I wore a cropped yellow long sleeve shirt with a matching pair of trousers that were pleated in a yellow colorway just for more of a dressed up look. <laughs> And for the last and final look, I decided to wear some purple denim pants with just a nice simple button down collared sleeveless shirt that was sheer and white. And again, I think that any type of purple hues you want to play with around this color scheme will go great. And uh, this is definitely a great colorway as we're getting to the springtime and summertime. <laughs> So you let me know down below what was your favorite look of the three or how would you sell me? ceilings uh -huh. Look how I swam out, the bigger picture.
picture Look how it panned out, now life is actually just how I planned Now mama, I made it, I am the man now, know that my family All got a chance now, partner, I dare you tell me that I can't now I'm on my grind and I'm not gonna stop Charging like a bull, watch me run up the stock We pop like the Crisco, got rich off the crypto I'm winning again, you can like it or not My girl wanna ask that and yours wanna Birkin I went to sleep but my money's still working My work's generational, nothing sensational Come out my mouth, better know it's for certain right The 9 to 5 you're currently doing on the resale market so again, these retailed at $150 and they are going between $300 to $400, which is a pretty crazy price. Definitely a colorway that I think was very well sought after. I think this is one of my favorite colors out of the three that dropped. Uh, so I definitely can see why that stayed so is staying so high currently. All right, that's it for this unboxing and review. If you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe right now if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up. Leave me any comments or questions down below. Hit that notification box. We do have a ton of heat coming out. And be sure to check out that join button as well as our merch store. This is Shay TV. My name is Marissa. We'll catch you all in the next episode.